Hello, David Diga Hernandez here. And Steven Moctezuma. And we have some very exciting news for you. The studio is finally finished. Now, what a lot of people don't actually realize is that this project was three years in the making. The first year, we raised the monthly support needed to cover all of the costs associated with running a studio on a regular basis. The second year, we spent raising all of the one-time costs associated with creating this studio, the renovation, the equipment, etc. Then the third year was actually the most frustrating year. This is where we had the resources, we had the monthly costs, we had our location, but it took us so long in the permit phase because the city didn't quite know what to do with us. It was such a unique operation. They didn't know where we fit in the zoning. So that took about nine months going back and forth with the city and then another four months of actual construction building the set and the lighting and all those little details that go into that and that totals a three-year project. So everything that you see in that set was hand built, hand painted, hand cut, hand carved. There was nothing that was fabricated or prefabricated. Everything you see in there was hand built. And let me tell you, it is beautiful. It is amazing. And we are so thankful that it was it's done like that. a beautiful custom job. And yeah. actually, I still remember you, me, Mr. Timothy Lay, and our lighting guy all sat down at a restaurant and we came up with the concept. We have a 3D rendering that we created from that drawing. And the finished product is actually very close to that 3D render. Mm -hmm. We actually sat down and we were eating, uh, what was it, lunch. We were eating lunch mm -hmm. and we actually sketched it on a little piece of paper. So when somebody walks in to our media center, what they're going to do is they're going to pass the sign out in the front door that says Encounter TV Studios. By the way, that Dove logo that a lot of people see is a two-fold logo. It's fire and it's a dove and those are two symbols of the Holy Spirit. Then they're gonna enter into the foyer where they see our healing history wall. Many of those who got anointed for the healing ministry, you'll see a picture of Steve, you'll see a picture of myself. Both of those photos were taken at Hungry Generation Church and that was one of our favorite places to visit. So we just had to put those moments on the wall. You'll see a picture of Nick Tejerina. Also, Kim Clement. Kim that was Clement. something that you wanted to add in there. Yes. So the reason I wanted to put the Kim Clement photo up, obviously we have the healing generals of the faith. Mm -hmm. um, I wanted a worship general of the faith that I take a lot of inspiration from. So I chose the late Kim Clement. Man, his ministry has touched not only my life, but Dig's life, and I think everybody here at the studio. So you'll get to see a really awesome photo of him when you guys enter as well. Next, you'll see our donor wall, and this wall features the names of every single individual who gave to Project ETV. Whether you gave a dollar, whether you gave a thousand dollars, whether you gave whatever, your name is featured on this wall. It's our way to commemorate your participation in what God is doing in this ministry, and we're very grateful for you. We're very grateful that you partner with us, and we never take for granted our partners in ministry who help us accomplish the will of God and then you will enter into the main studio. So this place looks amazing right now. But before we got in here and did all of the work, it wasn't so amazing. Yeah, so when we first got here, I mean, if you can imagine it, there was dingy blue carpet everywhere. and You didn't like the carpet? No, I was not a fan of the carpet. Or the ceiling tile. It looked like the ceiling tiles haven't been changed for years. And with faith, with a little bit of elbow grease, with a little bit of hard work, we were able to transform this place into what you see today. The editing room was just all carpet and old ceiling tile and just dirty walls. The green room, the same thing. The, the foyer, the same thing. That warehouse was just a warehouse and now it is a TV studio. Remember when we first got the keys? I do remember when we first got the keys. That was an, an amazing and kind of frightening experience because again, when you walk into this place, 
it was not what it is today. So why was it frightening for you when you first got the keys? So I think it was frightening because it was a massive step of uh, a massive leap of faith that I was not really used to. And I think we had the vision, we had the goal, we didn't understand how we would get there, but we knew we would get there. And we stayed faithful and committed and kept working at it, kept working at it, and it is what it is today. I mean, it's amazing and beautiful here. And there were moments where we just didn't think it would work. Now, I can recall a certain moment where the construction workers were late on everything, the city was coming down against us, the landlord was giving us a hard time, our neighbors were incredibly loud, and I was walking around the studio, which was not even finished, not even near being finished. We couldn't even begin work in the warehouse because the city had tied our hands for the time being. And I remember just thinking, what did I get myself into? What did we get our team into? But God is faithful. And we pushed through those seasons of doubt. We pushed through those times where we thought it wasn't going to work. Like Steve said, we took that big step of faith and God came through. So we just want to say from the bottom of our hearts, on behalf of the entire ministry team, thank you. Thank you for standing with us. Thank you for taking this step of faith alongside of us. And thank you for helping us spread the gospel of Jesus Christ in the power of the Holy Spirit all around the world through events and now a new level of media. And we again want to say thank you so much. We're going to reach so many more people with this facility and you are a part of it. So thank you. And now for the best part. We want you to come in person to the studio and sit in on a taping. As promised, you'll be able to come in and hear a teaching or an interview. You'll be able to hear the worship live in person. We'll pray over you, we'll greet you, and we'll be happy to show you around the place. If you'd like information on how you can come and visit the studio, go to davidhernandezministries.com studio. Be sure to book your visit as soon as possible because we already know that this is going to be booked months in advance. We have a huge response to this already. Again, davidhernandezministries.com slash studio. Sign up for a studio tour and you'll be able to sit in on the taping. We look forward to seeing you in person here at Encounter TV Studios. Thank you for watching Encounter TV. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, help me win souls by spreading the gospel through events and media. Make a one-time donation or become a monthly supporter by clicking on the donate link now.